Hello! Step on here and welcome back to more of Finest Rays Fasten Fight. As we last set up, we just saw that our dad get pulled in to the pit. And the old buddy that is really an actor came out. And now he's standing, and now he looks like he's Oswald's father. Yellow bunny. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Hopefully, this will be the final part to Into the Pit. I don't think I'm getting tired. I'm really kind of enjoying this. Anyway, let's get started and let's continue into the pit. You see, oh wait, how about that cat with the bus? Okay. Also lay awake in bed. And mom said down the stairs, and okay, that it must be true. Why would she lie? But also knew what she had seen. She had seen the yellow thing. And then she started to figure, drag, drag into the pit. He has seen the yellow thing climb out the pit. Hold his grip on his arm. Sat beside it in the car as he drove it home. Oh, had he? If mom had said dad was home and okay, he must be. Although trusted his mom. But if that was okay, it must not have seen what he thought he saw. And that must mean that Arthur was losing his mind. After only a few hours of fruitful sleep, Otto looked to the floor of a frying ham and baking biscuit. His stomach grumbled, reminding him he had missed dinner last night. Everything felt normal. Maybe he should just treat, a, just treat yesterday like a bad dream and try to move forward. A new school year, a new beginning. He stopped in the bathroom, then made his way to the kitchen. Being there? Oh, I hate mail. You got mail. Just go away. Being there? Mum asked. There she was. I heard a ponytail ring. Was he baffled? Fifteen messages, just like always. Something about this fact made me also feel tremendously worried. Yeah. But your own reaction. Now that's the problem I can fix, Mum said. She sat down and played bits of art and bought a astrology. There's a big, a big, big bat. The yell place was in the set, said the breakfast. And Mum I'll go heartbeat like a jack hammer, he said. That would be a silly stomach. Why is it hot? The back of the as she feels because Where's Dad? She put her out. Her copy of her. Also, your dad is just trying to cross for you. There's some kind of laughing time you could start out right now because they're officially stopped being funny. Throw the cup of carpet and set down in front of the yellow thing instead of cigarette. Its mouth set in an unchanging grip. Also, he knew he wasn't getting anywhere. Either he was insane or his mum was. Okay, I understand. I cut it out. I thought he was talking it when he was Of course, mum said. But she was looking at it kind of funny here. Also, stopped in the bus to the bus seat. That's it. He picked up his dad to find Jim still hiding. Well, it's good to see that someone else in his family has some sense. He said. When also came back into the kitchen, the yellow thing was standing by the door. Car keys in the door. Uh, is the bad taking into the school? Also, I. He never know how if he could bear to inside it in the car. He was watching the world as his dad flew it. Doesn't he always? Mom said. 
Or at least buff. Have a good day, okay? See, no choice. I'll just go to the car beside the yellow thing. Once again, he locked all the doors from the driver's seat. No, who just realized it? What is that? I don't understand how successful the other two. Are you real? Is this real? I just go crazy! The elf said nothing, just said it all that. Then I pulled it on the book made of school. The coffee guard as a kid. He died in the old body rock. Hey, as I said before, but got us off. Don't bother picking me up this afternoon. I just catch the bus. The good bus was a big yellow thing he could handle. Because it was some kind of comfortable. The first bus almost there. He's so there. Well, well, it isn't the. If it isn't us, we'll be giving it a rest, Dylan. Also said, put it back. I got way bigger problems than you today. Like a giant fucking bunny rabbit that's screaming me out. Is it my dad? Is it not my dad? Am I going insane? Am I alright? Well, dude, you have to flip out. No! I don't think I can! It was impossible to concentrate in class. Usually, I was all the pretty things just do. But how could he focus with his life of passing his dad before you pass? Me should talk to someone. The school council or the school police officer. But he knew anything that came out of that would sound really crazy. How could he convince a police officer that his dad was missing if everybody looked at the elevator and saw the Oswald's dad? There has to be someone else. Also, the daughter has to figure out how to solve it himself. At the recess, he sat on bed. No. So he did to the teacher. He could just think. Couldn't imagine how his life could get any weird. The only thing he seemed to think it was his father. This was weird, but not. But why did everybody else think it was his father, too? Do you mind if I say your bench? But again, it was a girl Oswald had never seen before. She had carried back her big brown eyes. I was holding a fit foot. Sure, help yourself, Oswald said. The girl stood on the opposite end of the bed and opened up her book. Oswald went back to his confused thing for. Have you gone to this school for a long time? The girl asked him after a few minutes. Also, what did she talk? She just kept staring at the face of the book. Also, wonder if this meant she was shy. Since kids are not, also said. And yeah, because he couldn't think of a single thing about it. So, yeah. Why are you leaving? Green McCarthy, she said. Tears up here. Have you watched much of it already? No, no really, he said. Being stupid immediately after. He didn't want to give the impression that he was the kind of guy who never reads books. It definitely had a, I love to read though, and then it felt even stupider. Me too, she said. I probably read this book a dozen times. It's like a couple of books of me. Oh yeah, what well, I need to be brave. The word brave stuck a call to the Oswald. Brave what you need to do. Why is that? Well, the great heroes are super brave. They're always doing battle with some kind of big monster. Like the Minotaur or the Hydra. It kind of puts things in perspective, you know? You know? <laughs> Sorry, I can't help uh, you know the same way again after Scott keeps saying it after Every five seconds. No matter how bad my problems are, at least I don't have to do battle with a monster. Yeah, 
also sad. Even though he was trying to figure out how to do battle with a monster, a yellow air, an Ian monster, in his own home! Couldn't tell this girl about the elephant dog. She was thinking she was craving to be reading a sad bed in a hallway. So you said you read that book when you need to be free? He was. Ah, he was having this conversation. Give him that smile from racing. For some reason, this girl was easy to talk to. I don't know why. I just wanted to stop there for some reason. <laughs> my mind's weird. I mean, it may be none of my business, but I was wondering why you need to, to be brave. Did you hear the sound of that? First day in new school, first day in new town, I don't know anybody yet. Yes, you do, he says, that better. I'm Oswald. Yes, you do, he says. Yeah, does that. I'm awesome. You don't know why you're off your hands, like you're some kind of business. Like we do. He took it out of that. Yeah. I'm gay beer. Uh, 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 uh. Gay beer? It's like one of the names of the two. Again. First we have mine. Now we have gay. That's two names. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> it's like I want to go into scary mode, but I know the moment I start opening my mouth, you guys are going to destroy me in the comments. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what's going on, so I don't even know where I would begin. Somehow, this was the conversation also had muted her out. He took the bus home from school. When he came inside, the yellow thing was back in the living room. He didn't ask her any more questions. It wasn't that really he could have given any answers anyway. Besides, if he was going to make his plan work, he was going to act like everything was normal. And then everyone being crashed, they knew. He was not one of his town. He said he did what he to do when life was normal. Nevertheless, my favorite group. He got the first duster out of the cream duster and dusted the coffee grill, the end table, and the lamp. He emptied the wash, dusted the four pails of the couch. Then he went to the kitchen, took out the guards and the recycling. So, it was tempting to run, but he knew Wally was not the answer. I was so the elf against his dad, nobody would help him. The old thing would always catch him. He went back inside. Sure done, he walked straight back the elf thing. I'm gonna go chill out for a while for poor dinner, he said. He know the posture in Rashid anyway was unimaginable. Well, but he didn't close the door. Instead, he took her suit, walked on the bed, and started drawing his sketch book. He didn't want to draw a mechanical animal, but they seemed to be all he could draw. He showed his sketchbook and started reading a manga, always pretending to normal. The guy could only work if he acted like everything was normal. When well, the dad, when, when the dad, <laughs> it's like the book keeps calling him bad and I. Keep Rory in the water and also keeps Cory in the water so it's kind of confusing me. <laughs> when the rabbit appeared in the doorway, he managed to not to gas. Becca turns to see where you have murder with the same five minutes. And then he falls into the kitchen. On the table was one of the store pieces. His dad kept his feet. Based to a pleasing golden brow. And two glasses of swamp boost on the back. What was this life with Mother East? Because I also couldn't imagine what thing holding a knife. What's going to be the a seat, probably? Also sat down at the table and have his. the. Thing, but he knew it was an asteroid. He was like, so good, I see. 
Aren't you gonna eat anything, Dad? Yeah, it was hardcore in the thing, Dad, but you vanished. Yo, thing, Dad crossed through his thighs with his skin frozen. With his unbreaking staff frozen grin. I untouched his side. There's that. But could it? Even me, also wonder, did it need him? What it was it? Anyway. But he first saw it was the suit, but now he wasn't so sure. What some kind of high sexual outshot ammo or real threat of the your bunny. You know my wish possibly was so disturbing. With great effort he fitted his teeth and got the foot. So, I'm sure did a dad. I'm going to get a glass of milk to do my homework now. Yeah, I was saying just that. There's the a check. So I put some milk into the box. What do you do? Oh. Yeah, he would. Um, yeah, that. Normal. No, so. What about fishing? He shipped the bowl of milk on his bed where things were still high. See, okay, Joe. That's it. You were hoping it was right. Bad, and a few minutes had been rushing in. Still, that even with cow fight, she couldn't run for that at all. He needed a half to the tent and his homework, but he called the car to All he could think of was his dad. The yellow figure dragged his dad into the pit and under the step. This is mean that dad was at Freddy's first day of the night eighty five, running around the arcade games he played as kids. That was no sexy station unless the young king had killed. No, he couldn't let him think himself. Himself think that. The sound was a lie. It had to be. The only way to know is to go back into the pit. But first he was going to have to get out of the house without the yellow thing noticing. Also weakened until dark. No more. Finally, he grabbed his suit and set out the roof and into the softly. The door to the third room was a good. Now, the elephant was yelling when I was back in his bed. That fancy staring at me. Oh, it wasn't staring, may we see? How tell this his eyes been crossed? Did he even need to see? Holding that he touched his friend as a tiptoe on his skin. If the elf had caught him, they say he was going to drink of water. The kitchen was best escapable, but all there was less safety than the front door. Since soon as I pulled the door open, slowly, inch by inch, I just lined up the shirt through and shut his sock in the ass. Then he ran. He ran from the main hood and his passive neighbor walking the dock. I kicked right at the bicycle. We were good out of the city. Go what? But ran in this neighborhood all the time. But he realized he wasn't running like he did your sex. They were like something was chasing him. And it might be. It was a long way to death piece on foot. But knew he couldn't keep that pace all like that. They you know I chose state. So it would be harder to fall. He was big just pieces might be closed by the time he reached it. Right, harder out there. Right, open side was still on. So Jim was a cow. What's a ball game to you? Yeah. You know, we just said a whole piece of time. No sense. No, no. I do know he looks as well. Yeah, I just stopped by to get the door to go. He was dead, he came more into the upper uh, uh, pit. Jeff looked at his brother, but finally said, Okay, let's get you. Uh, then I get you for the upper slot. Inch. Fine, fine. I see if Jeff is being the kid. The bit. The bit. You know, he wasn't sure that he was getting. There are things that I can find. That 
a shoe. It felt like a shell of a shoe. Not boot like it's that. No, well. So, ankle, ankle. So, it's that. No. Hey, you know stuff. That was like the yellow thing. See, but you have to find out. Yeah, you see you. So, imagine. So that, and he was, had to be a lot. Had to be. All those things, these things. Yeah. Also, the same show about uh, people who have been in the Nazis. He said, I found themselves able to live. That was a. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I got quiet sometimes. Also, I've seen shows where people have been in the midst of these histories, something about amazing shit. I found themselves able to lift the front of the car, chest. Well, the kind of shit also needed to fuck. His dad wasn't a big man, but he's still a man with way to see his chest much and stuff. Dad, if you're going to see. The dad. It, it wasn't some kind of cool horse that got the elf in his chest. Well, not if he was going to do what he did. The, uh, poor, nothing happened. Dad's away, I'll do it for. Oh, stop there, please stop there. Yeah, this time I'm more forced. Making a yeah, noise, some uh, being a grunt and a wall. This time the body moved, and I also thought, yeah. Ah. Uh, so, the staff, tail and other cars, not being, definitely being around there. Not very present in 1918. Well, so, they read this as How can we get it out? Mom, as a nurse, you do, but if you, he's alive. Like, he felt like the boy who cried wolf, or the boy who cried rabbit. He felt it the last before he saw it. Present behind him. The words are so down and per rather serious to be. Now, it's got a right on being off the jazz in this side. It got loose, but the thing bit. It couldn't get out of it itself. Let alone with his poor passed up bar. Acting more than thinking, also charged Webber with his head down. If it could follow up bound or knock it on the surf, me it couldn't get on nineteen eighty five twenty first first piece. Very fast, and by also on his dad enough time to escape. He had but the yellow thing and knocked it into the. That. But. So. So. So then. Out. That. So I'm so also. But also gets the door up the pit. His eyes dead as always. So we are double of fangs and sharp minutes. So. Mouth open, big C wide. It was the other spot, but it's blocking with the arm. Pain feels pierced also four and the other thing sank his fangs into his skin. Also used his good arm to put the rabbit hard in the face before the fangs pierced too deeply. Fangs? What kind of crazy rabbit had fangs? I feel like I'm on the same page as Oswald here. <laughs> he thinks Jaws reached the grip, but there was no time to celebrate the damage because the thing was lunging towards Oswald's back. Jaws right up it, like a sneak about the sword on second breath. The red with Oswald's claw. Both the yellow thing aside and moved the scene and still unconscious on. You leave my dad! Alone! He yelled. Then used the thing and that was see the bounce off. Things back. Fist. Scratched his eyes with 
they didn't feel like they were going to die. The rabbit stumbled back into the netting and rocked. They grabbed Otto's sword and stuck it hard into his shoulders and into the pit. Otto fell head first on Seth. The bit was stuck. His arm bobbing. His whole body was sore. Yeah, but he had to get up. He had to save his dad. Like those 8th degree heroes Gabriel had told him. He had to be brave and face the monster. Otto was unsteadily to his face. Rose unsteadily to his feet. Somehow, when it shook Otto off, he must have got tired of the, in the world, a netting that was lying the ball pit. A rope was looped around his neck and grasped the world with big balls, trying to get free. Otto couldn't understand why he was trying to free himself, until he saw that the yellow thing's feet were not touching the pit for a bit. The yellow thing was suspended from the rope. Down to the metal of the top ball pit. The rabbit had hanged itself. His mouth was open and closing like grasping for breath, but no sound came out. It's all or deathly as the wolf. It's there, still brightness was aimed in sort of direction, as if it were crying for help. Also, there was a good black to it. At the thick of the soggy, the yellow thing was still, also being. Hanging for the world was nothing but dirty, empty yellow rabbit costume. Side opened. Otto walked to the side. I don't understand why I'm here, Dad said. His face peered on us face. His eyes puffing with dark, hard moons on them. What happened? Gave to us face. You were attacked and left for dead by a giant evil rabbit who tried to replace you and I was a young patient who could see you it wasn't you, me and mum thought it was you. No, it sounded too crazy. A lot of I didn't want the idea, then yelled at his parents saying, But the evil rabbit was real! Jake was the only other member of the family who knew the truth. I mean a cat, she wasn't going to say anything in his defense. Besides, his dad had always suffered enough. The newest one to run. He also knew and I was not the skill here. Besides, yeah. he always got there and said, uh, lost. But in the city, a lion might be the only way for him. So, uh, I hid a little bill to pay and thank you, which I should have done. You came to look for me and I guess you must have hit your head and lost consciousness. Oswald took a deep breath. I'm sorry, Dad. I knew he needed to get out of there. This bar, at least, was the truth. I said your apology, so I said that. He didn't sound mad at the time. I'm sure I should have done it. I took to read it with his daughter, so I had lost his place. Huh? Definitely, Otto said. He knew he would never step foot in the pit again. He would miss Chip and Mike, but he needed to make some friends his own time. My question Gail on the he said, Gabriel. He seemed nice. Smart too. They are a good talk. Otto reached to his dad's hand. Let me help you stand up. His arms were standing, dad rose to his feet and as his son into the exit of the ball pit. He paused to look after the yellow hanging coffin. What is that thing? I have no idea, Otto said. This True was the truth. They cut out of the pit and walked through Jeff Peter. Jeff was like a garden. He had rushed to the TV. He had not seen or heard anything. Still was holding Oswald's hand. The last time Dad held hand. Dad whispers his son on and will say, Well, breathing. Yeah, Oswald said. Seeing my arm when it's time to call you out the ball pit. His dad shook his head. You might have said they think it's pulling me to you. The figure inside the thing keep out is in the off. The girl or other off. We get you all. Ah. We get you all cleaned out of the house. And then your mom can just do once you get on the thing off. I also wonder what this mom would say about when she saw me flying back. So the dumb dog, other there. Dad, I know I can be a pain sometimes, 
I really do love you, you know. Dad looked at him with an expression that seemed both pleased and surprised. You need a kiddo. He waffled all the way. But you do have a tell thing to sign fiction in you. Oh yeah? I'll go to Well you have a tell with peace and music, and you like boring acting. There but they both So the last night there. Behind them? Jeff go. Hey kid, you forgot your soda. The end. <laughs> Ah, I love these stories. I love them. Um, what did I think of Into the Pit? Um, this was weird. Poor person. I think it's going to be one of the weirdest. I'm probably going to be weird in this book. Maybe. <laughs> We're just gonna have to find out as we're reading through all these books. But that's the first story done, and we got it done in four parts. Which means the rest of the story should be done in four parts. Uh, so that's four episodes each. So eight. Twelve. So one book is twelve parts. Jesus Christ. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed Into the Pit. Next time we're going to start To Be Beautiful, which is the second story into the, in this first book. So I'm going to number the stories. So, in, so Into the Pit is story 01, To Be Beautiful is 02, and the final one in this book so far is Count the Way. Which is going to be zero three. However, I looked in the back, and it's like a blackout page. I'm going to call that story zero four. It's probably going to be one episode where I read through that and give my general thoughts and feelings on it. But that's going to be zero four. Probably all the buses don't have that in the back. Wait, four times five. What? Hold on. Oh, man. Four times five is twenty. <laughs> is that? Is that seriously a weapon? Is that seriously a weapon? <laughs> I found an unintended weapon. I wish it is intended. There's going to be 20 stories, because the, I don't know if that's clever or not, or I just found it to be Well, you're going to listen to me to read out 19 more stories, because I want to read through every single one of these. Get my thoughts, read in the book. Next time, we're going to start to be beautiful. See you guys then.